Virgin Voyage's brilliant lady, what do you need to know about when you can book things? Where is it going? And when are all the dates of when this is happening? <gasps> and placeholders for mermaiden voyages as well as Alaska cruises. Ooh, so much news coming at you in today's video. But if you're new here, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is Seal. I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. I love Virgin Voyages. And today I am joined by an expert and travel agent who knows Virgin Voyages so well. JC, introduce yourself. I am Jason Carter, Susan Vacations, Top 100 Virgin Voyages Travel Agent. Yes, and that's my favorite part because as a Top 100, he gets better deals than other travel agents do. So do not miss out on the link in the description below where you can get a quick price quote. But brilliant lady, let's start with when. When is she launching? September 2025. Super out of exciting. New York. And that's a really big deal. And that's going to be one yeah. of the Mermaiden voyages that you might want to check out. And after, let's let's do her little tour. Walk us through where she's going and when. Because after New York, she might be going to some pretty interesting places. Yeah, for sure. So it's September 5th out of New York. And it's going to hang out in New York for a little while doing uh, some voyages down to Bermuda. And then the final one... Uh, it's going to be through Quebec, and then it's going to head to Miami, and that's going to be at mid-October is when you're going to see that be down in Miami for that mermaid voyage. And so a lot of this info, we are going to keep dropping more content at you. So if you have a question, make sure you ask it below. But after it goes from Miami, there's something big that's happening after that and what's that then in march of 2026 it's going to make the voyage from miami to los angeles via the panama canal which is, is really cool because really it's going to hit some cool spots yes that's a really big deal and this is actually going to be a 16 night voyage on virgin voyages and what's really unique about brilliant lady is that, and a lot of people don't realize this, I didn't realize this until I sailed Scarlet Lady versus Valiant Lady, all the current ships in the Virgin Voyages lineup are the same build. But Brilliant Lady, she'll just be a little bit thinner than the rest. Why? Because the Panama Canal has restrictions around ship sizes that can go through there. And so Brilliant Lady will have a little bit, a little bit of a smaller build. More info on that coming soon. But Panama Canal is going to be a huge one. And so after she goes through Panama, she's going to be in LA. Is that right? That's right. It's going to be in LA for a little while doing some voyages uh, to Cabo and Mazatlan, Mexico and... Uh, Hawaii, and then it's going to make its uh, way to Seattle to do Alaskan cruises. That's a really big deal. I can't even imagine Virgin Voyages being in uh, cooler locations like Alaska, but that's coming at you really soon. May 8th is a really big deal in terms of a date. Why is that? What's happening that day? So the voyages, New York, the Miami, Panama Canal, uh, Los Angeles, those voyages will be, you'll, I'll be able to book those. Um, I get a, I'm having a lot of interest right now for the Panama Canal, so I have a list going. Um, also on May 8th, they are dropping the ability to book the Mermaiden, the four Mermaiden voyages, which the Seattle one has not been announced yet. So it'll be like a placeholder for that, as well as they're calling it uh, the Frontier Pass, which is going to be, you're going to have the ability to book first for the Alaska uh, cruises. Yes, and Mermaiden. And this is something that I didn't know. So a Mermaiden voyage is basically the first voyage going out of that city. And you get, there will be special perks. Is that right? If you if you are on one of those Mermaiden voyages? Correct. There are special perks. They haven't been announced yet what they're going to do, but uh, especially if you've done all four. If you do all four, there's going to be uh, something special as well, so, which is really I... cool can only imagine something brilliant is coming your way brilliant lady what else do is there anything else that people need to know if you want to get on my list to get a quote on may 8th i'm setting my alarm for 3 30 a.m because i have a pretty big list of people that are saying book me book me book me um so they are taking the website down at midnight 
and they're gonna uh, load all the voyages in. So I'm hoping by by 4 a.m. it'll be up and ready to go for uh, for us to start booking. This, so this is why I get love on that list. JC, he's working yeah. <laughs> so hard for you. Set that alarm. Yeah, if you want to get on that list, reach out. Yes, and all of that info will be in the description below for you. And don't forget, there are over 22,000 Virgin Voyages travel agents. JC's one of the top 100. He will get you a better deal than others can. But the only way you can find out is to grab that price quote and obviously be a smart traveler and go price it out on Virgin Voyages also and just watch him beat it because that's one of my favorite things to watch happen. Brilliant lady, more info coming at you soon. Join us in the Facebook group. If you're not already there, we'll be answering tons of questions. And if you got one, add it in the comments of this one and we'll answer it in the next video.